Hello everyone, welcome into the latest webinar 3.0 right here on the Pulse Network. I'm your host, Tyler Piven, and we've got a great show lined up for you today. We've got another 10 attendee marketing tips in 20 minutes. Basically taking a look at utilizing your association uh, memberships really. Kind of break that down for me. Yeah, sure. So you know, a lot of the associations, they have a membership base that goes along with, uh, with the meeting or, or their event. And this is a great potential to get more resources. For the most part, these people are actively involved in your community. Um, for the most part, they, they pay dues to be part of this. And what better way than take advantage of those folks by inviting them or giving them a forum to invite their colleagues, their, uh, their friends, their peers to come to the conference, right? And we want to do it in such a way that's really easy to do. So if you look at what folks do with exhibitors by creating a, a VIP pass program that allows exhibiting companies to invite their customers to a conference, by, again, by, by using a, a VIP pass program, or on the attendee side, you know, you have these refer a friend programs which allows you as an attendee to market to your friends to come to the conference to check me out and why I want to go to the event. Take that same concept and apply it to the members. Again, the, the, the concept is to make it simple, easy to do. You know, perhaps you can build in you know, link tracking so you know which one of your members has recruited the most attendees and make it fun and simple to do. Fun and simple, and one of the ways you can also do that is basically by you know holding the poster sessions, right? That's the next thing we actually want to go ahead and get into right now. So, Steph, kind of talk about poster sessions. Explain exactly you know what they are and really how to make sure you're marketing those and utilizing them to the the biggest effect. Really. Well, I think you know poster sessions have been used in medical shows for years, but only recently have we started seeing them in other industries. They're great because you can bring in your, your technologists and your futurists and the people that are on the cutting edge working on new things in your space. And that way they can put forth their ideas on posters and have one-on-one -on -one or one-on-a-few on a few conversations with people and bring in new ideas. Again, what this does is it helps with the content creation. It helps bring people in to see stuff that's new and different and not the same old stuff, different day. I think the reason that it does attract attendees is because you're bringing in something new, they're going to get a chance to, talk, to speak with people that they never have spoken with before, probably. And again, and on the other side, if you sponsor them correctly and bring in the right people, you've got technologists and futurists also going ahead and, um, and learning from the audience directly in terms of what it is that they're doing for their R&D. So it's really a win-win situation.